Hello. And yes, I want to tell you a story. It's the story of the writing website you're not using. Of course, if you are using it, then this is a bit pointless, but I don't think you are. I suspect you're not. It's a site called Wolf from Alpha, and what it does for us as writers... Well, that's another... No, it's not another story. It's this story. This is the same story where... Yeah, it's a story where you subscribe to 58 Keys as well. That, that would be a good thing. It helps me out hugely. Anyway... Hello, I'm William Gallagher, this is 58 Keys, and as usual, 58 Keys is for writers like you and me who use Macs and iPhones and iPads. Actually, this one time, it's really for all writers who use any computers because it's about this website, Wolfram Alpha. Just the one site. Um, you already know Wikipedia and you overuse it. Uh, you also know Google, which means you also know that it's at least very difficult, if not impossible, to get either of those to tell you answers to certain questions, specifically the kind of questions that you and I might ask as awkward writers. Let me make up a, a ludicrously big example of the, the kinds of things I, would, I might like to know as a writer, and then very quickly show you how to find out all of the answers, probably all of them, most of them, certainly very quickly, preposterously quickly. So let's say I have a story. Uh, it's about a woman in Chicago in 1976, let's say March the 3rd. Uh, I don't know why. My character's a thief. Um, I think I wanted to be out selling a stolen goods in the daytime, so what was the weather like? Was it cold? Uh, at night, night's when she does her stealing, so how bright is the moon? Uh, was March the 3rd uh, a weekday, a weekend? Uh, I wanted to steal the equivalent of something big, like $100,000 worth in today's money. So what was that in 76? And being a writer, thinking about how I'll tell this story, I'm slightly distracted. How long will this be? If I have a 100-page novella about this character, how many words is that? You want to know the answers? Yeah, so do I. Give me a second. Right then, my thief's name is Olivia. That's the most popular woman's name in 1960, and I'd, I'd decided for some reason that she was 16. Don't know why. Might rethink about that. Um, I couldn't get, actually, I couldn't get the most popular woman's name in Chicago in 1960, so I settled for the most popular name in America. I think we can work with that. And actually, no, I'm, I, I'm changing my mind about her being 16. Let's say she's 26 instead, which means born in 1950, except as it happens, I found out, the most popular woman's name in America then was also Olivia. So let's not be obvious, let's go for the second most popular name for a woman born in 1950 in America. Emma, then, would now tell you that it was really cold on Wednesday in Chicago on the 3rd of March 1976. In fact, it was on average 4 degrees Celsius, or as she would have said, 39.2 degrees Fahrenheit. There were thunderstorms, it was foggy, it was overcast. Average humidity? 87% average wind speed, 9 miles per hour. So actually, uh, enough for it to notice, but probably not enough for it to be bothered by. Um, you remember Emma is a thief by night? Well, the sunset that day was 5.43pm Central Standard Time. And I think because it was foggy and it was overcast, I don't think she'd actually be too concerned about the moonlight. But if she were, if she looked up to the sky on that particular night from that particular spot, she would have found that it was a waxing crescent moon showing about 3.81% illumination. I said I wanted her to have stolen something worth $100,000 in today's money, 2021. That would be 21,440 in 76 money. And my 100 page uh, story, 25,000 words. So um, actually, I couldn't find out what job she might be doing during the day. That's something I would need to look elsewhere for, and I don't know where. Yeah, but it doesn't matter, it's an example. What we've got after this this example of almost random thoughts, really, is a bit of a character, a lot of a setting, and I think the potential for stories. That wind, it could lift the fog a little. Uh, Emma might decide that because of the earlyish sunset, she can go out thieving earlier than she planned. And so, you know, then she'd hit uh, changes in security staff, guards and things. She might end up getting caught. You get the idea. I think you're just waiting for the answer of how you get these answers. It's like I said, Wolf from Alpha. Told you it was quick. Go to the website wolfromalpha.com or get the iPhone app, which is particularly good, and it'll tell you all of these things. Um, I just want to say, I didn't cheat. 
I really did just make up March the 3rd, 76, I don't know why, and all the rest. I didn't secretly try it all out first to see if, it ha if there happened to be a lot of information on that date. There will, of course, be dates when there isn't enough information. Uh, certainly there are going to be locations where just not enough is known. And of course, yeah, the more obscure the place you want to know about, the longer ago the time, the less you will get. But something I really like is uh, if Wolfram Alpha can't get you the precise weather, for example, for the day you pick, it'll say so, and almost always give you a predicted range based on what information it has nearby or around that time. So you can make as good an educated guess as anyone else. And that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. More than show you, I wanted to enthuse at you, really, about allfromalpha.com. Except, remember Emma's a thief? Well, from Alpha, it tells me that that word thief scores 11 in Scrabble. If she were a burglar, uh, Wolf from Alpha tells me that the first known use of that word in English was in 1541. And since when you and I are done talking today, I need to go cook. I also asked Wolf from Alpha and it told me that the 190 degrees Celsius that the ready meal I have needs is what my oven here in the UK calls Gas Mark 5. Seriously, if you thought you could waste a lot of time in Wikipedia, give Wolf from Alpha a go. So, go to wolframalpha.com or get the free iOS app and start writing in questions just like the one I use, the ones I use. Um, I said it's free, the app and the service, because it is. There is, though, a paid version, which is called Wolfram Alpha Pro, and it lets you upload files that it then analyzes. So, that, you know, that complicated spreadsheet you have for your taxes, it can presumably be sliced and diced for you. I don't know how. And you can also download answers so that you so you can collate them into Scrivener, for example, and not like I did have to keep going back to ask the same questions because you forgot. Um, Pro does more than that, but I've honestly I've never even found enough reason to try it. Uh, if you want to, Pro has, is a subscription service. Typically costs five dollars fifty a month, or this Pro Premium, which does even more, and I even more don't know what, which is a tenner a month. Uh, both are less if you're in education. But while I, I truly, I will not knock the pro versions because I've never used them, this is not a case where only the good bits are in the paid version. Everything we want as writers is there waiting for us to soak up the hours and the days when we could be writing. Thank you for watching. I'm now off to write a story about Emma the Thief in Chicago. I'm worried about her. Take care of yourself, eh? And I'll see you soon.